Hello, B Squad, and welcome back to another episode of V Girl TV. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you hear any like cars or any crazy stuff going on in the background, it's because I'm in New York and you know, there's this is a city that never sleeps. So literally you're gonna hear noise in the background. I got like this little camera system going on, hoping that it will just, you know, focus my voice and not the voice, not the noises in the background. So we'll see how it works, guys. So um, if you like the sound, leave a thumbs up or leave a comment in the section saying that the the microphone is working if not leave a comment anyway anyway guys so by the title of this video you already know what this video is actually about um this video let me actually pull up the question um it actually stems from one of the subscribers uh let's see if i can find the comment okay so the subscriber wrote hey i've been watching you for a long time i want to move to panama now but i don't want to rent is it realistic to buy a home or apartment for less than 60k or even build a home so when people ask this question all the time people always ask these type of questions all the time I can, i'm gonna give you my personal opinion this is just my personal opinion you can take it with a grain of salt or you can take whatever you want to take from it and then leave the rest behind okay so by no way shape or form am i telling giving you this information for me to for you to change your idea it's just giving you my realistic views on what i think personally if you have never visited panama before if you have never stayed for more than three months i would not advise anyone to purchase a home okay if you are, I'm telling you right now, if you have not visited Panama, if you have not been here for at least a minimum of three months, and I would even say six months, three to six months, I would not advise you to purchase a home here, okay? What I do advise or what I would advise is that you come, you visit, you stay to even see if it is a fit for you. Now, the second question was, do I think that they can purchase a home or have a home bill for 60K? I mean, not in the city. Not if you're trying to live in Panama City and not if you're trying to live in a decent area. You may try find something across the bridge. You may find a home. You Maybe you can buy a home for $60,000 across the bridge in areas like Chorrera or if you go further out of the city you may find something for 60k but even i feel like even those type of homes or even those homes they're going for 80,000 minimum okay this is just my personal inf this is just my personal op opinion um when my parents bought their home way back when it was about $65,000 and then they invested a lot into upgrading the home so at the end of the day it just kind of depends on you your budget where do you want to live I mean, if you plan on living in a certain type of area, certain type of areas will require certain type of money. And that's just me being 100% honest here. Like, I don't want anyone to leave and I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, you know, um, she's this and she's that. And she, no, I'm telling you what the real deal is. So many people always say, you know, I want to go to Panama, I want to live in Panama without actually really visiting. Okay. And purchasing a home is like a huge investment. And it's like, you know, it's a huge responsibility. So why would you want to take on a responsibility if you're not even really sure or if you even know 100% if that's a place that you even can see yourself living in in the future. And besides all of that, there's a lot of stuff that goes into like owning a home here in Panama. It's not as easy as you guys think. Like for example, if you are a foreigner, meaning you don't have a cellula, they require 50% of the down payment um, on the home. Now, if you are a Panamanian national, you can get loans from the bank, etc., etc. But it's not like how it was before where it was just so easy. You can come, you can drop your money. No, it's not even like that. And I wouldn't advise anyone to build a home here. I mean, if you have the patience of dealing with contractors, then go right ahead. Me personally, you know, different strokes for different folks. I personally would not have a home built here. 
but I wouldn't have a home built in Panama because contractors are very unreliable. I'm not even trying to be negative, but this is the reality of the situation. Contractors are very, very unreliable. It's very hard to find people that is going, that are going to work um, and give you the job that you want, especially if you're someone like me. And you have to be able to deal with them possibly not showing up to work, okay? They may show up, they may not show up, and you have to be okay with that. It's not like you can go and reclamar anybody because, for God's sakes, Panama is, you know, the most relaxed country in the world. Top, the top, it's ranked the top relaxed countries in the world, I think according to like Forbes or some magazine that it's like super relaxed. If it is Saturday, Sunday, Friday, they may not show up to work. So I, you know, my personal opinion okay to save yourself the headache i would not build a home here it's just too much and it's too much logistic let's just let me just give you an example okay i know someone who got scammed out of their money for so-called someone building their home um this, this is something that happens and no matter how much you try to be very cautious, it happens. Especially if you are coming from the United States of America or you coming from outside and people know that you are a foreigner, there are some people that will take advantage of you, take advantage of the situation. That is just the way it is. Literally, you really can't do anything about it. Me personally, I would just go with a project that was already done and just deal with a real estate company directly versus me just trying to do stuff on my own me and even still with real estate companies you still have to be very cautious and very like you know mindful okay of who you're dealing with what kind of company you're dealing with this things can get really really sketchy like i said this is just my personal opinion you can take what i said with a grain of salt i know some of you guys are going to be in the comment sections trying to go in and trying to come for me but i'm just telling the truth okay about real life experiences that happen to me and people that i know very close to me these things happen it doesn't only happen in panama so i don't want you to feel like oh you know oh she's talking bad about panama no it happens everywhere okay you just really have to be cautious you just literally have to be cautious on how you move and the way you move so i noticed that in a comment someone else wrote it depends on what you're looking for newer condos a way out of that budget which is true you can get cheap homes outside the city or close by maybe panama north or west if you look further on the countryside you can definitely get a home and a big lot on that range again what this person says is semi true um again it depends on the area where you're trying to live what you're looking for if you do not mind downsizing um and because it's definitely not going to be a, a modern home that you're going to get for that price so then he goes on to ask would you recommend someone go buying a small home in panama i speak spanish but i'm pretty sure if i go down there and tell them i want to buy this or that i'll get ripped off or somewhat well i guess you know exactly what is happening you know exactly what it is like i said if you are not sure that you want to move to Panama, if you are not sure that this is where you want to be, if you are not 100% sure, do not purchase a home. I don't know how much I can re reiterate that. Do not purchase a home if you are not sure. The best thing that you can do is, you know, rent. And there's still other things that go into purchasing a home. And I'm gonna give you an example. If you are over a certain age, and let's say you're married and your spouse, you know god forbid passes away you your wife or your husband isn't able to sell the home without getting a psychological test okay because the law is is that they want to make sure that when if the other spouse is selling the home they're not be they're not being forced against their will to sell the home etc etc from because of their age also if you do purchase a home and you leave for a certain amount of time you are leaving space for someone else to actually take away the house from you I've seen it happen. I know people that are going through it right now. Um, so like I said, it's things that you really, 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 really um, need to think about before you jump into something like that. It's something that you need to be very sure of. So I would suggest to anyone, before even thinking about purchasing any homes in Panama, make sure you at least come to visit, stay for at least three to six months to get a feel because I'm telling you, 
living somewhere and visiting or just seeing fancy pictures on YouTube is completely two different things when it comes to everyday life and dealing with things, you know, dealing with the everyday struggle every single day of the week. So I hope this answered your questions. If you guys have any other questions, please, please leave them in the comment section below and I will be ha more than happy to answer your questions and make more videos answering your questions anyway guys thank you always for tuning in if you like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and make sure you share and as always guys peace and love